Hey everybody, I've got a simple tech tip for you, which is something that I recently discovered. It's not a new thing, but it was a new thing to me, and maybe this will help somebody out. I've had a long-standing problem with my computer network, where the computer network has some Windows 11 machines on it and Linux servers. And on the Linux server, you can share files and access those files from the Windows machines. On the Linux machine, you can go into its file browser, click properties in a folder, say share this folder, and then once you've done that, assuming that the permissions are correct and your networking is working, you can then go over to the Windows machine and specify the name of the Linux server and that share, see the files and exchange files, and everything works great. The thing that doesn't work so great out of the box, however, is if I go to the Windows machine and click on Network, I would not see the Linux servers listed under Network. So my Linux servers were acting more like a drug dealer than a hot dog vendor. Uh, that is, in a sea of a crowd, you know that there's a drug dealer in there somewhere, but you have no idea who it is. You have to know exactly who to go seek out. Yeah, but if you knew that the drug dealer was the guy wearing the brown jacket and the green hat, you could walk up to him and go, got stuff? And he'd go, I got stuff. And you could make the exchange. But finding him, you just got to know the name. You got to know how to find him. And that was how my network was. So I'd rather have my server acting more like a hot dog vendor, walking around going, peanuts, pistachios, hot dogs, over here. And every once in a while, he would announce that he's got these things available. And so that's what I want my Linux machine to do, so that the Windows machines know that the Linux machine is available on the network and sharing services. Now, this used to work back in the day. When you go to your Linux machine and click on a folder and say, I want to share this folder, it uses a service on that machine called Samba. And Samba is a dance between two parties, uh, two computers. And Samba contains the letters SMB, which is the server message block protocol. That's the communication language, the protocol that Windows uses to move files from one machine to another. And so by having the Samba service installed in your Linux box, it allows the Linux box to understand the protocols that Windows uses to share files, and those two machines can work together and share files. And that works great. Samba's been around for a long time. It's good code. It works well. And way back in the day, when you installed Samba on your Linux machine, the Linux machine was visible to the Windows machines. It did service advertising in a way that the Windows machines could detect that that service was available on the network and everything was great. But over time, Windows has evolved and with Windows 11 and maybe some other slightly prior versions, they've updated that service discovery protocol. Now the service message block protocol that actually transfers the files back and forth uh, that's continued to evolve in Windows and in Samba, and that still works great. But the discovery protocol, that announcement of hot dogs, pistachios, and peanuts over here, that language has changed in the world of Windows. And the methods that Samba was using previously no longer work with the later versions of Windows. Now, do I think that the developers of Samba should update Samba to include the latest discovery protocols? It would be nice, but they haven't. And so, in order to get your Linux machine so it's discoverable by Windows, we need to tell the Linux machine to advertise itself in a method by which Windows understands. And we can do that with the addition of a small program that runs on the Linux machine that just advertises to the network that this machine is available and is sharing files. And that service is called WSDD. And there's a slightly newer version out that's a bit more efficient called WSDD2. 
So all I needed to do was to use APT to install the WSDD service into my Linux machine. And as soon as I did that, moments later, it was visible in the network folder on all the Windows machines. And it made networking much easier. If your distribution of Linux doesn't support APT, you can go out to the GitHub repository and they have other installation methods depending upon your particular distribution. But this is a real simple utility service that um, makes your Linux machines discoverable on the network. So this is an issue that may not impact a whole lot of people, but if you've put a Linux server up on your network and you're not seeing it under the network folder of your Windows machines, well, this is probably the solution for you as it was for me. I know I had looked through a lot of settings trying to figure this issue out and well, this turned out to be the answer and it's so simple. So hopefully that helps you. And if it does, I'd appreciate it if you'd let me know by giving me a thumbs up. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching the video. I do appreciate it and hope to catch you again soon. Take care.